In a previous video, we were using the filters to whittle down the large number of expired domains that were currently available to a workable number. This video picks up with those results, and we're going to go on and look at how we can use them. So at this point, we have done a search for SEO sites. We have returned a total of eight that meet our criteria. I usually always order them by domain pop. Looking at the ones at the top, we can see this domain. I don't believe this domain is actually about SEO, so we'll ignore it. This one, I don't think it's necessarily about SEO as, as well. When I look at this one, I do think that is about SEO, super SEO links.info. It has a domain pop of 109. What is domain pop? Domain pop is how many domains actually point to that address. So there's 109 different websites that point to super SEO links.info. Keep in mind, we don't care so much about what the name is because um, we're not really going to be using super SEO links.info. We're going to be using the 109 domains that point to that site and we're going to redirect those to our site um, in a relevant manner though of course so super seo links.info is probably a good candidate if we look through here we see there's a 415 backlinks these have earned a citation flow of 16 for that site a trust flow of zero for that site um, still though that site has no trust flow um you know there could be out of these 415 domain uh, backlinks, there could be maybe 35 that are really high trust flow and that will be great for our site. Um, so we're not going to ignore it just because the domain name has a poor trust flow. If you look through, you'll see that trust flow is pretty low anyway for everyone, for every site that's available. Um, with that being noted, though, sometimes it's always sometimes it's good to keep in mind you don't have to buy a domain name today. Maybe tomorrow there will be a 15 year, but I want to keep going. So we know that this expired five days ago. Uh, the site was registered in 2016. Uh, the only reason why I point that out is just because a little bit longer of a history, uh, the more likely that the site was actually used for what its purpose states. Um, so we have this is as a as a candidate now. So from there, let's jump into a new tab here. And that's my homepage for ultimateseo.org. But what I really care about is looking at the backlinks. I use SEMrush. Um, it seems to be a good mix of cost and information. Um, I find uh, Domain Cop to be way too expensive. And AREFs is way too expensive. Um, and then other sites uh, that are on the cheaper end don't seem to be um, as informative so I'm already logged in and I'm gonna put in I believe it was super SEO links dot info I'm to search let's verify that that's the right the right one links mm -hmm. and right okay so remember, we said that there was sometimes there's, there's disparity between um, what one index shows and what another one. This one shows a total of 146,000 backlinks from 415 different sites. Um, the other site does not show 400 or sorry, 100 and something thousand. It shows 415 backlinks, which is a lot closer to the number of domains. One thing that I'll throw out to you though is that I'm a little worried about the number of domains just because um, there's the globe.net um, it's complete and utter crap um, they point to domains with uh, no reason for it and they are spammy and they do it all the time to all kinds of domains that are expiring and these inflate numbers and create false positives and so what we'll be looking for here in a second is these domains that all point to this site, are they all from, I think it's, what is it, like the Netherlands or Sweden? So let's go to referring domains, and no, they're not. Well, that's surprising, and that's good to know. 
Um, let's go on and look at our anchors then. What is the anchor text? So the number one things are going to be skills, whatever that is, reviews, perfect, uh, biotics, okay, and America, probiotics. Okay, so what do we learn when we look at these anchor terms? This site, at one point, was probably about SEO links. Now it is not. It looks as though this site is actually about probiotics. Um, what I would have liked to have seen would have been backlinks, SEO, um, SEO tools, you know, obviously the keywords that you want to rank your site for. Um, because the backlinks and their anchor text is going to define what the search query is that you're seeking for the, the site. These are all irrelevant to what our, our, our goal is. Our goal is an SEO type site. So this is not going to be the domain for us. So we're going to go back. And then underneath it, that site is not about SEO. That site is not, not about SEO. Go SEO online. Okay. It's got a domain pop of 19. Still, maybe there's some hidden ones, you know, that, that it, the other site had a whole bunch that this site didn't report. Um, this re expired six days ago. I'm going to bet that it is probably not that great just because it's been sitting on the market now for a while. But let's give it a go. Go SEO online dot com. Okay, look at our anchors. SEO. There's 4,014 inc incidents of SEO tools. Free, new, best, marketing, rank, Manchester. So I guess it has to do with Manchester, England. Um, blog, courses. Okay, these are relevant, pertinent backlinks that we could use for our site. SEO rank tracker, link building SEO tutorial. So these are the number of domains, though, that these links come from. Keep in mind, 1,375 backlinks from two sites is, in my mind, and in most SEOs' mind, two backlinks. Um, you know, if, if uh, the same person tells you a thousand times that their friend is great, that's different than if a thousand people tell you one time that their friend is great and it's the same friend. Anyway, um, but let's see what is the domain that is saying this. Go to referring domains. We see there's a total of 23 Japanese domains. And these are the domains. This is their authority score. Now, would we consider them low or high level? Obviously, this is on a scale of... 0 to 100, you might all, um, you know, instinctively say, well, hey, these all look like they're all in the teens, so that's all low. Not necessarily. Um, keep in mind that, you know, uh, it's rare to have a, a 90 in here, okay? Most sites are probably never going to be above, you know, a 50. Um, are they relevant? Yes. Um, you know, it, 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 it takes a lot to get in these upper numbers um so in a weighted manner okay you know i would say that a um a teen is so so it's not good it's not bad um it's something um the majority of the backlinks though come from an 18 and then a 23 and then a 34 and uh, there's a 62 right there so we just kind of see that that's the spread of um of our of our backlinks here i'm going to say that it's probably not that bad um this go seoonline.com um is not in my mind a bad buy because let's keep in mind that how much is it going to cost us to register a dot com we're not hosting the site we don't have to pay for hosting because uh, we're just redirecting the the, uh, the backlinks um, so our total cost here is going to be six ninety nine seven dollars you know um, when I say that amount that's because I don't use GoDaddy um, I use namesilo.com there's a plug for them um, I mean it includes private 
registration. GoDaddy does not. Um, it's also cheaper than GoDaddy, even with the private registration. So I always use them. GoSEOonline.com. And it is available at $8.99. Put a check mark there. And then I'll go through and register it. I'm going to do that in private, though, um, just because there's going to be some billing stuff in the in the video otherwise. Um, but so this is an example of how we have found backlinks that are relevant to our site. Um, the anchor text is in line with the searches that we want to increase ourselves with. Um, there'll be another video on how we're going to implement the site and redirect the backlinks. Keep in mind that we're not going to necessarily redirect all of the backlinks to our homepage. Um, you know, in the user experience, if somebody were to have searched for, let's go to Anchor, best SEO free tools, okay? Um, unless we have SEO free tools on our homepage, you probably should not redirect that anchor text to your homepage. You need to redirect the um, SEO free tools anchor text backlinks to a page about SEO free tools. So that'll be in the next video how we implement it.